Hello everybody, welcome to this platform. This is Sicham Bajeko. All right, so we've got this question right over here. We need to use what we call Green's Theorem. So if you don't know how to use Green's Theorem, this is your opportunity. We've been given the vertices, okay? The coordinates of uh, the triangle, okay? So basically, what you need to know for this question to be answered is that uh, there is a formula, okay? for Green's theorem, which says that uh, when you've got something like this over P, then here dx plus Q, here dy, and some uh, region here. So when you've got something like this, this will simply be equal to the integral, actually double integral with some region, of our explain so just keep on following of what i'm writing so the partial derivative of uh, q over the partial derivative of uh, of uh, or with respect to x minus the partial derivative of p with respect to y and some region right over here so let me just explain what i've just done here you can see we've got two parts here so one part here will be your P. So let me do this. This part here will be our P. Okay. I want you to follow and this will be our Q. So this is the format it is in. We are respecting X here. This is a X we are respecting. Y. This is Y right here. So there are two things here. So you can see this and this. This is our, our P and this is our Q. So normally what you do, you're going to switch them. You find the partial derivative of this minus the partial derivative of this, and then you integrate. So let me show you what it means when we say partial derivative. We are basically going to write equal to the double integral of, uh, of uh, this. This is a region, which is a D. And then here we're going to find the partial derivative of uh, 2xy. So q here is a 2xy. And then we shall say over d, the partial derivative there, dx or del x minus del over square root of 1 plus x squared over del y. Okay, so we've got some region here. So you can see what I've done. I've just gotten this, put it here, and then this also put it right over here. So after you've done this, you can now find the uh, partial derivative. First, we're not going to do anything to the region, so we find the partial derivative of this. It will just be a 2y minus partial derivative of this with respect to y. It will just be a 0, and then dA. So let me just explain a bit for those people who don't know what it means when I say partial derivative. So the partial derivative of 2xy, just find the derivative of uh, this letter right here. We are respecting x. So the derivative of 2xy, it will just be derivative of x. It's a 1. So 1 times uh, x times y, it will be 2y. This other letter, you treat it as a constant. That's what it means, partial derivative. Okay. So here, the reason why I've written a zero is because we can't see any y here. So all this thing is a constant. The derivative of a constant is a zero. So we are done with that one. We now come to the region. We need to identify the region. So the region will be identified in this manner. We've been given the coordinates. So these are the coordinates. 0, 0, 1, 0 and uh, 1 comma 3 so what is 0 comma 0 it will be right over here this is 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 it will be here and then uh, 3 comma 1 comma 3 it will be somewhere here okay so this is the triangle we're dealing with okay this is a triangle right over here so what we can do here is to find this equation so equation of uh, of this straight line right here okay 
So when we find that equation to be y is equal to 3x, it's an equation here. That is when we find. So this will help us now find uh, the region. So finding the region will be moving in this way. So this is 0. Here it's a uh, y is equal to 3x. Okay. And then here it's a 0 to here it's a 1. I guess you know what I'm doing here. So I've got 2y dy dx. Okay. So now we can finish it up from here. This of course will be the integral from 0 to, to 1. This will be uh, y squared. Okay. Y squared. And then uh, here we've got 0, 3x dx. These are the limits. So from this stage, of course, that's it. This will give us a 9x squared. When we substitute 3x right here, it will be 9x squared dx. Then we finish it up. It will be 3x power 3 from 0 to 1. We substitute. It will just be a 3. So the answer is a 3 here. Okay. So that's how you go about this uh, question using Green's theorem. Thank you so much. Please share the video and uh, leave a comment in the comment section.